thank you for joining us for our last episode of our honeymoon series. We can't believe how fast time has gone and just like that our seven days to explore parts of Sri Lanka is nearly over. But we're excited to bring you this week's video as we're staying high up in the Knuckles mountain range in this remote chalet surrounded by nature. A relaxing escape where we can reflect on recent times and wonder what our future will look like as a married couple. Spoiler alert, so far nothing has changed and we're still working away like crazy, but join us here for two days and two nights as we cozy up in the special accommodation and experience what this area has to offer. Today we are heading to our next and final destination of our trip before we head home. We are currently in Kandy and we're now heading to the Knuckles mountain range. Let's go! I just want to get out of the city and onto the rural roads again. It's going to be beautiful when we get out, I think, those mountains. Okay, so we've made it to the town of Hanuskaria. I don't know, I think that's how you pronounce it, which is, I think, the nearest town to where we're going. So, we're just stocking up on some supplies and the essentials, like beer, and yeah, then we're gonna find what direction we're heading into next. But so far, it's just been uphill all the way, a constant climb, but it is so beautiful around this area. Beers have? Yeah, beer have. So I've just put into Google Maps the directions to our chalet and it's saying the recommended route is 55 minutes which is longer than the other route which is 44 minutes. So I'm not sure which route is probably best to take. I thought we were nearly there. No, we've got an hour left to drive. Oh. Like now we're going up into the mountains. I thought we had already gone up far enough but now we're going really off-road. Wow, it just keeps going up and up. Oh, it's a nice road. Yeah, I love it already. We haven't even got there yet. Okay, sharp turn coming up to the right. We kept driving higher and higher, increasing elevation, and the beauty of our surroundings becoming even more exquisite and lush. This was a different world out here, much different to the crazy busy city of Kandy we had just come from. Uh, that's a nice place to lie down. This is a cute little finish. The Knuckles Mountain Range is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is one of the most popular hiking spots in Sri Lanka. As soon as we got to the chalet, our lunch was ready to be served and it was much needed after all that driving. So we've just got to our accommodation for the next couple of nights. It's absolutely amazing. Can't wait to show you guys. This is such a unique place to come and I'm so excited for the next couple of days. We've just had a really lovely tasty lunch and now we're ready for the next part of the day, which I'm really excited about, but also really nervous. And yeah, we've come here a little bit later on in the day. So the sun is going down and it's getting cold, but it's so nice here, it's so snug. I love it so much. What I also really loved about the cozy vibe here is the different carpets in the chalet. I don't think my feet have touched carpet since I went back to England last. So this was a little treat. Oh my goodness, this place is amazing. I wish we could stay here forever. We've got two nights, so we need to make the most of this place and this area. So excited. Are you okay? <laughs> Come in, Aaron. How is it, Rue? It's 
nice, yeah? The guys here have made our room so beautiful. They know we're here on honeymoon. So they've made our bed up so beautifully. It's literally like an art piece. I don't really want to ruin it, but the bed does look super comfortable. And from our balcony, yes, we have our own balcony here. We can hear the water flowing through the mountains into the natural pool, which we're going to be heading to really, really soon. I'm so happy! These people then give me a present food bucket. <laughs> food bucket. <laughs> you look so cute. <laughs> okay, so quick tour of our little room for the next couple of nights. Come on in! We are staying in the double room. It's really beautiful. We've just opened the big doors that lead out to our balcony and it lets loads of natural light in and we can hear the nature and it's just so incredible. And yeah, this is our room. We've done our bed really lovely. And then come with me and I'll show you the rest of the room. Coming upstairs. So this is the door that leads into the room. So that's the corridor. You okay up there? And then here is the bathroom. It's got the basics, toilet, shower, sink. And they've even put up a balloon and ribbon for our honeymoon. And then follow me up here. It leads up to, it's like three different levels of this room. So this leads up to the kind of top. So if you have another guest staying with you, if you need three people in one room, if you have a child, this is a really nice little room. How awesome is this? It's another bed. And then, and then this area here is a really small little room, I'll show you. So this is where Lahiru goes when he's being naughty. He just has to sit in here. The clouds have come rolling in over the mountains and it's going to be getting dark soon but we're heading down on this beautiful nature trail that leads to the private natural pool that's on this property. So all the water comes down the mountain and it forms in these beautiful pools. So we're heading there now. It's such a beautiful walk. Oh my God, I just love this place so much. I think I keep saying it all the time. I'm so in love. This is so amazing. It's like the perfect place to come to get away from it all and just go into full relax mode but the water's gonna be really really cold but we're gonna do it we have to get in it's our challenge <laughs> So this is the beautiful natural pool here. I can't believe this is on the property as well and we have it all to ourselves. This is just absolutely insane. I'm just, oh, I'm just so shocked. This is absolutely amazing. And um, anyway, the guy, before we came, he told us that he's actually spotted a leopard in the area before, only one time, and he's worked in this area for 20 years. But there are leopards in this area. They're really rare to spot and they're really shy. But it's made me a bit worried <laughs> that we're out here on our own and this is like leopard territory. And there's lots of other wildlife here too. Lots of birds, butterflies, reptiles, deer, spotted deer or barking deer. Anyway, I'm gonna try and get in. Wish me luck. You're too easy, go! Hey, you go then! Are you am easy! I can't feel my legs anymore, they actually feel quite warm. Like my legs aren't cold. It's 
easy, he said. <laughs> hey! Hey! One, two, three, woo! <laughs> One, two, three, jump! <laughs> One, two, three. Oh my god, that was so much fun. It was so cold, but so refreshing. I'm so glad I did it. My legs really got used to the coldness and I couldn't feel them anymore. And I actually don't feel that cold now that I've come out. This is just unreal. This is so beautiful. Oh my god. We are so lucky. I can't believe this is the end of our honeymoon. I just want it to go on forever. Pull your pants up. <laughs> so after our bathing session in the natural pool, we just got back to a nice hot shower. <laughs> Saragi Madia. <coughs> and now we're settling in the communal, casual, relaxed area with a nice cup of tea. And the clouds have all rolled in from the mountains. The sun has gone and I'm feeling really snug and cosy. Do you? Yeah, come on then, put the TV on. Wow, what a peaceful place to wake up in. This is absolutely incredible. I feel so, so happy and relaxed here. This morning I woke up and I went to the communal area where the sofas are and I just did some work there and I was watching the clouds roll over the mountains. It's just so picturesque, it's beautiful. And actually the lounge is where we sat and we watched some Netflix last night. We watched Cast Away with Tom Hanks. And it was just really nice to snuggle up on the sofa and chill. I really get lovely homely vibes from here. It's just so amazing. I wish we could stay here for longer. We've got two nights here, so. And we just had a really lovely breakfast. They did such a good spread for us and they cater for vegans really, really well. It's so delicious, the food, and the staff are so attentive and lovely. I'm just so in love with this place, but I'm really excited for today. We're going on a little adventure. So we're now off on an adventure to the nearby village, and that's where we're gonna meet our guide and then go exploring. I'm so excited for today. Wow. Numanagala. Misty Mountain. Yeah, we're heading into the clouds. I just don't feel like it's Sri Lanka. It's so different, everything's so different. But that's what's so interesting about Sri Lanka, isn't it? Like, mm. you can go to different places and it's all different. From the coastline to the mountains. Wow. We're literally driving through the clouds. We are heading off this morning to a remote, isolated village in the Knuckles mountain range named Mimare. With a population of 420 people, according to folklore, this village is around 5,000 years old. Baby, baby goats, you are a baby goat. up in the chalet in the mountains it was really cold this morning it was covered in cloud and now we've come down the mountain and we're going on this beautiful hike through these rice paddies and the sun is out and it's hot but it's so nice 
This is so fun. So we have just met with our guide and we're now walking up through these rice paddies to a waterfall. This area is so, so beautiful and I'm really excited to explore and see the local life here. Are you my hand? <laughs> okay, so we have now come away from the rice paddy path and we're heading into more of the jungle through these really lovely flowing streams over rocks and apparently there's quite a lot of leeches in the area so oh, I can't really walk and talk at the same time this is so incredible Like a week ago now, <laughs> Lahiri's turning more and more British. So he has now started saying, hurry up, <laughs> which I've not taught him. He's like learnt that somehow, I don't know how. <laughs> but every day he tells me, hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> hurry up, let's go. So we let the guys go on without us so we can stay behind and do some filming. I think we must have taken longer than we thought and we, ah, we were wondering if we've gone the right way and we were getting lost. But I think we just spotted them on the waterfall. Wow, this hike is so nice. was so amazing we had so much fun <laughs> splashing around at the bottom of it and then we ended up running back as much as we could through the forest along the river it was amazing got some exercise in and then we finished off the hike by walking back through the rice paddies which are incredibly beautiful and then back through the Myanmar village which is so cute and the houses are so lovely and it's just such a beautiful little village to walk through and we're finishing the hike in this little tea shack and she's got us a roti and we're gonna have a nice cup of tea and then head back to the chalet it's so awesome how they've built the little walls of this hut out of clay and sticks it's just so rustic and rural and I love it. It's so basic, but it does the job. And we've got these cute puppies to play with as well. We have just sat down for a well-deserved lunch and every time we get food here, it's so delicious. It's amazing. They give us so much food. Look at that. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
I can't believe I'm married to a real life Tarzan. Only joking, Rue. Love you so much. So cute the way he tries to use his cutlery. Anyway, we were exhausted after the hike and after cramming so much into this week long honeymoon. And just like that, the evening came around so quickly. We had a lush candlelit dinner in front of the fire as it gets very chilly here at night. And then all snuggled around the log fire to toast some marshmallows. Is it on fire? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maybe wait till it comes Oh yeah, down I will do. Thank you very much. Mine's a bit burnt. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. You are asking what's wrong. <laughs> I've woken up to a very rainy morning. It is 6.30 in the morning and I've just left Lahiru in bed and I've come to the communal area to do some work. I don't know why, I always seem to wake up really early and I have like a whole to-do list on my mind so I can't get back to sleep. So I get up and I sit here and it's so lovely. And the guy who works here, Samit, he has made me like a platter of tea and coffee selection because he knows I come here and do work in the morning so I've just made myself a cup of coffee and I've just finished a video edit and I'm just watching the clouds go through the valley because they've completely covered the front of the chalet and it's just so mystical and I feel really cosy inside when it's raining out there. I really love this place but we're leaving today. I hope to come back sometime in the future though because we've got so much we still want to do around here. We just haven't had enough time to really appreciate each destination but we wanted to see as much of Sri Lanka as possible in this time because it's our honeymoon. But today is the last day of our honeymoon. I can't believe we've been married for one week. It still doesn't feel real. It's absolutely crazy. And um, we have to do the drive home today which is going to be a minimum of seven hours so I'm loading myself up on coffee <laughs> because it's going to be a long drive home but I'm really excited to get home and see our dogs and Marky the cat and the chickens. Well what an amazing place to finish our honeymoon trip around parts of Sri Lanka. This has been absolutely phenomenal I cannot rate this place enough. It's just been such a great couple of days to unwind, but also to keep exploring and see the beautiful places in this area. So if you're wanting to come to a really awesome, unique place in Sri Lanka, then highly recommend come to this chalet. If you're looking for a getaway, a place to come with your friends and family, or just like a couple's time away, then highly recommend come to Dumanagala Chalet. It's absolutely breathtaking up here. It's right up in the Knuckles mountain range. And I really wish we could stay longer. We've only been here for two nights and it's definitely not enough. There's so much to explore in this area. So we'll definitely have to come back sometime in the near future. For our time here, we've been the only people here, but if you wanted to, you could book out the whole chalet. It sleeps up to around 20 people. There's four different rooms and a cottage, and it's just absolutely incredible. What a place to be. Surrounded by nature, it's just amazing. Also, the food here is ridiculously awesome. They give so much food. I've eaten so much in the last couple of days. They've catered for us so well. We're on a plant-based diet and they've done it amazing. Everything is so, so tasty. So I really don't wanna leave. But now we have to go on at least a seven hour drive back home and we're back to work tomorrow. This honeymoon has gone so quickly. I just want it to last forever. <laughs> anyway, let's hit the road. Last breakfast at the chalet.
went all this time with no leeches and then as we're driving away from the area we stopped to see these lovely goats and then I felt something on my toe and it was a leech. Now it's bleeding. Let's go, yeah. Yeah, it's not stopping to bleeding though. And just like that, our honeymoon was over. And as we took the seven hour drive home, we reminisced of the memories we made, all the people we met, and all the places we were lucky enough to explore. Oh, Puffin! <gasps> Puffs! Chick Mandy! Hi, Mandy girl! Careful of your teeth. Careful of your teeth. Careful of your teeth. 